Hey guys, what's up? My name is Cameron Penner, and welcome to a great new video series. In this series, I am going to go through every single drag and drop icon in Game Maker. I'm going to show you how each of them work, and then I'm going to show you how to code each of them yourself with the letters. Uh, so that'll be great. Let's get started. The first drag and drop icon is Move Fixed, or yeah, that's what it's called, Move Fixed. So what you can do with this one is you can choose a direction that you want your guy to move, uh, or you can tell him to stop moving, and then he will move in that direction uh, with whatever speed you choose. And speed is in pixels per step, and there are about th there are 30 steps in a second for a default game, and you can change this in your room settings, but um, that's that's all you gotta know. And so now if we would run this, we're gonna see we have our our object ball is sitting right there. And uh, he's going to start moving to the right, just like that. And now, if I would choose more than one of these, he'll choose a random direction to move uh, at this speed. Um, so we'll run that right now. And this time he chose to go right, and if we run it again, he might go right again, but uh, he didn't. So, so that's how that works. Also, if you check the relative button here, Relative only applies to speed. Uh, it doesn't apply to direction. So when this gets called, it will set the direction to zero, which is straight to the right, and then it will start adding to the speed. So if we uncheck relative here and say our speed is going to be eight, and then we add a keyboard space, and we want to start moving to the left, speed of one relative, um, it he doesn't start accelerating to the left, he sets his direction straight to the left and then starts adding and then continues on adding to the speed. Um, so that's how that's how relative works for that function. Uh, and now we are going to add in this guy, move free. Uh, now here you can choose any direction between 0 and 360, you could choose more than 360 or less than 0 if you wanted, but um, that's our that's our range. So 0 is straight to the right, 90 is up, 180 is straight to the left, and 270 is straight down. And so we're going to make this guy move in the direction of 180 at the speed of 5. Now, in our, in our space key, we're going to say go 0 straight to the right uh, relative the speed of 0.5. And you can use decimals here, that's perfectly acceptable. And so now you're going to see when this starts, he's going to start going to the left, and then I can slow him down and then speed him up to the right. So if you want to do that kind of accelerating stuff, you use move free, um, because this adds motion to the to the the current motion rather than just setting the direction and then adding speed. Now we are on to move towards point. Uh, so we're going to move towards a point zero zero. That'll be easy to show, and we're going to go at the speed of four. So if we run this now, we're going to see our object's going to go straight to the top left corner. And when he gets there, he'll do kind of nothing because uh, it was the create event and not the step event. But uh, what you can also do is if you check the relative button, then x and y are relative to you. So if you put x as five and y as zero, he'll start going straight to the right. Uh, because x5 and y0 is to the right of him. Now, let's move on to speed horizontal. What this does is it only affects a horizontal speed. So we can set horizontal speed to 5, which is to the right. We're going to say OK. Before that, we're going to use move fixed, and we're going to say go up and to the left at the speed of 4. So now he's going to start his act. He's going to start his event here by going up into the left at the speed of four, and then he's going to set his horizontal speed to five. So he'll still be going up, but he's also going to be going to the right instead of up to the left. And this would be easier to demonstrate if we did like that. So his vertical speed will still be four. This only affects his horizontal speed. Uh, same goes for speed vertical. This only affects vertical speed and not horizontal. So if you do a positive number here, that makes him go down. So if we set our vertical speed to 2, we can totally get rid of that because it won't uh, affect anything. 
and we can say run that and we're gonna see our guys gonna go at a horizontal speed of 5 and the vertical speed of 2 so now if you wanna add a relative this will add to the horizontal speed so if we go in space and we say relative 1 or negative 1 then he'll start speeding up to the left as we're holding down the spacebar and the same goes for vertical speed so you're gonna see here he's gonna start speeding up to the left when I hold the spacebar that worked great and now we're on to gravity direction usually 270 that's straight down you can set your gravity I usually go with 0.5 you can choose any number uh, too high will get really crazy and too low will feel like you're on the moon uh, so we're gonna say okay and now um, we don't need to do anything else and you're gonna see our guys gonna start speeding up going down just like that he starts falling and then you can add for example when you hit the space bar he starts going up speed of negative seven or something as if you guys jumping so you're gonna see something like this um, so no matter what uh, the gravity is always pulling the guy down now on to reverse horizontal speed this does exactly that it reverses your horizontal speed so we'll put it in the space command <laughs> and we're going to go to our create event and we're gonna say start moving to the right at the speed of six and we're gonna give him a vertical speed to say three and now when we run this and hit the space bar then it'll reverse his horizontal speed but it'll leave his vertical speed at whatever it is so that's good and you can also do the same thing for vertical speed as you'll see here so you run this and that'll reverse his vertical speed and it won't affect his horizontal speed at all now onto our final one we are going to add friction and this um, uh, here you set the value to whatever you want I say 0.2 and then now when we run it we're gonna see our guys gonna slow down he starts moving and then he slows down and and depending on how high your friction is uh, he'll slow down faster uh, and if you check relative it'll just add to however much the friction is currently so um, so if we check relative and then we run this twice then our friction will be 0.4 right um, now that is all for that now we are on to the code this is where it gets fun uh, we're gonna start with our first one which is move fixed so we're going to use the function motion underscore set and here now we choose our direction it's between 0 and 360 um, we don't get little buttons now because we're using code uh, so we are going to say motion set to 90 so he'll go up and then we put a comma and then we are going to choose our speed that we want to go and we'll say 4 and then we close that off and then we put a semicolon and that will end our line and so now when we run this we're gonna see our guy starts going up with the speed of 4 and that worked great um, now there's also another option uh, where you can choose a random direction right um, so you can go like this and choose a random direction and he'll choose one of them well we can do that with code it gets a little funky but we can so we're gonna put in the direction we're gonna say choose and then we're gonna open and close a bracket and then we'll put in a bunch of values in here we're gonna say choose 0 or 90 or 180 and then he'll choose one of those values and then he'll set his direction to that and then he'll start moving at the speed of four so that works great uh, now that we've done that now we're on to the next one and that is um, move free now if you uncheck the relative button it works exactly the same as motion set right um, but if you want to add motion like checking the relative button then you use the function motion add and here you can choose your you can set your direction to say 45 and then we can change this to 0.5 and then we can change this to a step event and so we're gonna see this guy constantly speeds up up and to the right just like that 
So that worked really good. Uh, now we're on to move towards a point. So the function for this is really simple. It's move towards point. And you can just hit enter and it'll auto complete it for you. Then you open your bracket and then you can look down here and it'll give you all the parameters that you need to type in. So X is going to be the X point he's going to move to. We're going to say 0. And then Y is going to be 0. And then speed is going to be uh, 4. And then we'll close that. And let's let's make this something more interesting. We'll say 100 and uh, uh, 45. And then we put our semicolon to end our line. And then we run it. And we're going to change that to a create event. Then we'll run that. We're going to see he starts moving towards the point 145, and that worked. And uh, if you want to check the relative box in this one, you just say x plus and then y plus, right? So you're going to say x plus 45, that makes the 45 relative to its current position, and then y plus 100 makes the y relative to its current y position. So that'll work. Now we're on to horizontal speed. If you want to set the horizontal speed, you say h speed equals 4 or whatever. And also v speed, uh, we can set that to 3. So now when we run this, we'll set that to negative. Uh, so now when we run this, you're going to see our guy's going to start moving up and to the right. Just like that. And also, uh, now we're on to gravity, so we'll just set the gravity in here as well. You can do as many lines in here as you want. So, gravity equals 0.5. Gravity is the magnitude of the gravity, and you can put a zero in front of that just to make it look nice. Uh, and then there's the direction of the gravity is gravity underscore direction. Hit enter to autocomplete, and then equals... And we're going to say that gravity goes in the direction of 270, straight down. So now when we run this, we're going to see our guy starts moving, and then the gravity goes and pulls him down. So that all works great. Now we want reverse horizontal and reverse vertical. Uh, so we, we're going to take gravity out of here for now. And then we're going to add a key press. Uh, no, I want that to be space. Key press space. And then we want to reverse horizontal, but we're going to do it with code. So we'll just right click and pop that straight in there. And then we're going to say h speed equals negative uh, 1 times h speed. And that'll work just fine. And also you can say v speed equals negative 1 times v speed. And then put our semicolon there to end the line. And now when we run this, we're going to see that when we hit space, then he reverses his direction. All right, on to our last one, friction. Now to set our friction, we're going to go in here to create. Then we're going to say friction equals, and then we're going to set our friction to 0.1, put our semicolon there. And then we're going to say OK. We can delete that because we don't need it anymore. And then now when we run it, you're going to see our guy goes and slows down. Uh, and that brings us to the end of the tutorial. Sorry if I rushed through it a little. Um, if, if I went too fast, you can always go back in the video and check over something to double check. But there's a lot of content here that we're going to be going through. So I'll probably end up slowing down and explaining more stuff more in future tutorials. But for now, that brings us to the end. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you look forward to learning more about GameMaker, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be, I'm really planning on finishing up this series. Uh, I think it'll be a good one. Uh, I think we're going to get to a lot of fun stuff. Particles. <laughs> and, and some other things. So that'll be good. Thanks for watching. Again, I've been Cameron Penner, and I'll see you guys next time.